It's been quite some time since I published any iMovie tutorials, and looking at my catalogue, I see that a number of the previous tutorials need updating due to the changes in the use of Keynote. The method of exporting out of Keynote for the use in iMovies has changed significantly and it affects these tutorials. Make your own flexible titles for iMovie, photo collage in iMovie, mastering captions in iMovie, fine rotation in iMovie, and how to use free overlays in iMovie. This series of videos will give you insights into all of the tips and tricks in those previous tutorials. Keynote is the best way to expand the boundaries that Apple has fixed for iMovie and to make it much more flexible as an almost fully featured video editor, but keeping its simple learning curve. Let's look at the animated titles in this first video in the series. I'm using Keynote to create titles that go far beyond the built-in iMovie titles. I'll also show you how to animate them. Launch Keynote and select the My Presentation theme. I'll use only the first two of the preset titles and I'll show you how to remove the third. You could remove them all if you wish. Place the cursor in the first text and type. Place the cursor in the subtitle and type. To remove the third text, select it and make sure the blue outline shows and then press delete. I'll center the window so you can see it a bit better. Now select the text tab to modify the text. I want to select the Montserrat font and while the font index is open, type Montserrat to find it in the list and it'll automatically change the font in the first text block. Now do the same to select Impact for the second text block. Now let's change the first text to Italic by highlighting the text a blue outline appears. And if you want to select all the text quickly, you could just click the cursor in the text and type Command plus A. Change the size. Change the color to red. Select the subtext and change to green. Now I'm going to animate the first text box. Make sure it's selected with the blue outline around it. Click the Animate tab. Animation can be a build-in or a build-out, or in normal language, that's a beginning and an end. Select the Build-in tab and add an effect. I'll select Drop, and you'll see the preview of the effect in the text box. Now select the Build-out tab and add an effect. I'll use Wipe. Now I'll select the second sub-text box. Build-in. Add an effect. I'll select Keyboard. Then a build out of Confetti. Let's review those animations. First, the second text box is already selected, so I'll pick Build In and press the Preview button. Then Build Out and press the Preview button again. Now select the first text box and build in Preview button. Build out and Preview button. And you can also use the Play button at the top. And to start each effect, you will need to press Return. Press Escape on the keyboard to get back to the editing window. And this next step is really important if you want your text to have a transparent background so you can see through the text in iMovie. Make sure that no text boxes are selected by clicking in the white area of the window. No blue outline should show. The inspector sidebar will change so that you can select the color fill and change to no fill. And you'll know it's worked as the background of the window will change to black. Be careful, if you've used black text, it'll now not show on that black background. But the background will show as transparent when you put it into iMovie. Next is to export from the file menu. The settings are important if you want a transparent background. Export to Movie. 
And if you used more than one animation, it's best to speed up the action. So type 0.1 in each of these selections for seconds. Select your frame rate if needed, but stick to the default 30 frames per second if you don't know. The next setting is also important for retaining transparency. Select HEVC or ProRes 4, 4, 4, 4. Unless you really want a high-res movie, stick with HEVC. And be sure to check the transparent background is ticked. Save to disk. Now launch iMovie. Find the save file on your hard disk and drag it into the timeline above the video track. Play the new title. The text shows in the front and you can see your video in the background. Now isn't that simple to be able to create flexible titles rather than being restricted to the presets of the built-in iMovie titles? Please like and subscribe and press the bell to be reminded about the next video that will show you how to create a slideshow for use in iMovie. Again, I'll be using Keynote.